I am Dr. Akash Singh from Borda. Uh, I uh, have enjoyed uh, my talk here in Diabetica 24 at Surat at this fantastic venue. Uh, Pre-diabetes was a, a talk which I gave and uh, it is an exploding epidemic with almost uh, 15 to 16 percent of the population of India suffering from pre-diabetes in a recent study and maybe the, this is the tip of the iceberg because the numbers may be even more and are definitely more and this is not the genes as general public uh, uh, thinks that genes predispose them to diabetes. Genes have a small role to play in development of pre-diabetes and diabetes. The majority of uh, uh, the onus is on unhealthy lifestyle uh, so that is called as epigenetics on top of genetics because genetics cannot change so fast. It is the uh, things that have changed are a adverse lifestyle, adverse eating habits, uh, lack of exercise, more of screen time, less of sleep, more of stress. All of these uh, uh, modern lifestyle have led to explosion of incidence of pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes is not a innocuous disease because even at the stage of pre-diabetes, lot of cardiovascular and other complications set in. Uh, including nephropathy and retinopathy and diabetes and pre-diabetes can uh, progress to diabetes uh, at a rate of 5 to 10 percent if adequate care is not taken. Uh, also you have to look at uh, several other risk factors like hypertension, obesity, uh, dyslipidemia, uh, uh, obstructive sleep apnea. Uh, uh, if you want to take care of uh, overall uh, profile of the patient and if you want that your patient should be uh, free from complications, chronic complications uh, down the line. So addressing pre-diabetes with lifestyle motivation and uh, some new drugs apart from the metformin which are being used, the new drugs which uh, are wonderful are GLP-1 and SGLT2 emitters which address the metabolic profile of the patient. So addressing pre-diabetes is one of the most important areas of uh, management uh, and it is a uh, vital step to prevent patients from getting diabetes and its attendant complications like CBD, nephropathy and retinopathy. So we all clinicians should take a pledge to screen all the all risk population, higher risk population for pre-diabetes and to advise our patients regarding healthy lifestyle modifications and suitable drugs may be initiated in appropriate cases. Thank you very much.